Hello my friends, today I'm going to show you how to create a fun card for your friends in a very easy way. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria. Let's get started. So I would suggest for example to use a page like Freepick. I'm not advertising that page, there's a lot of different other pages, but I know this one because I often use it even for my customers. So you can put anything in the search, for example birthday and then select one of the designs and individualize it for your purposes. One thing I would look out for is that you don't use one like this one with a complicated background because we want to stretch the background out so we have place for the picture of our birthday child. So let's see here. This down here with the cats is very fun. It has a simple background, very easy to individualize. So click on that and up comes a download page. You can see here it's a free download. Free license with attribution means that you should name where you have downloaded it. So somewhere in your design it should say designed by freepick.com. This is already part of the file. You can download this. It's a zip file so you have to unzip the file. You can use free software for that. For example like Winra or any other kind of software you want to use. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, you can see here I have a canvas, it's 1080p, so you can use it on screen or online, stuff like that. And I will go here to File and Place. And here is the folder that I have unpacked from the zip file. In here you have an AI file for Adobe Illustrator, EPS file and the JPEG file. When you mouse over it you can see the dimensions are 2000 pixels squared, so 2000 by 2000, which is bigger than we actually need. So we can just use this and place it here. You can see it's a fun design, it's almost finished and now we're just going to individualize it for our purposes. So I'm going to resize this a little bit, put it here on the right side with these nice fun cats and the next thing we're going to do is go with our rectangle tool up here and create a rectangle over all of the background. I will move the rectangle into the back or the lowest layer and then click here on the fill color, use my color picker and drag it over here onto the background color and click once to set this color active. So you can see now the background is stretching out and now you also understand why I suggest to have a picture with a simple background. We have to do it down here again. So let's make a second rectang rectangle uh, click on the fill color, use the color picker, select the second color and click again to make it active. And then the last thing we have to do is to line it up with our um, other element or other background in the original design. So I think this should work well. Uh, maybe one more. There we go. I'm using the arrow keys by the way. Um, so this is a very easy and simple way to do that. So. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm clicking on my picture layer with the design, right click and rasterize it so it changes from image to pixel and now I can use my mark you tool or basically by wait I will do it a little bit, no we can use here the freehand tool for example and I will just select these elements here, we will select all of them like this and then use our move tool uh, with our pixel layer selected and just move this over here to the right side. There we go. So that was super easy. Um, Control D to deselect and now we have these elements over here and in the middle we have a big empty space. So for example we can go here again to our rectangle tool and select something else. You can take the cloud tool, the hard tool, the star tool, the double star tool. There's a lot of different options that can be fun. I will use the hard tool for this example. Drag out a really nice big heart because we will fill our, um, our picture in here. So I will select the stroke and use my color picker and use this pink color over here and then set the width of our stroke a, bit, a little bit bigger uh, like this for example. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is use file and place and select our photo like this photo here. I will place it here and then just drag it onto my heart shape. I click on this little arrow 
over here, select again the picture and now you can see I can move my picture layer around inside of the heart shape and I can click again on the heart and we can for example rotate it a little bit, we can make it even bigger, we can do anything we want with it um, to place it perfectly on our background. Another thing you will notice is that over here we have some of these stylized um, uh, or easy shadows below the objects. We can also do that. So let's use the ellipse tool and click on the fill color. Again, use the color picker to select our shadow color. Then we have to click here to set the stroke style to no stroke. And we can make a little shadow under this balloon and we can use our heart tool to make a bigger shadow under our heart and maybe use let's use the diamond tool to make a little bit of a shadow like this over here I will zoom in a little bit move this over here because we have this little element you can see here floating there uh, so now it looks similar to the other parts and as you can see, we are basically done. If you want, you can hide this design by freepick.com and then write it in your post text or in the link text that you're using to post this somewhere or maybe put this in another position where it's not that distracting. But basically, this is everything uh, you need to do to create the design. If you want, you can use different of these elements and put them on the other side. For example, um, let's select this element here. And now I can go control C to copy, control V to paste it and uh, use my move tool, move this balloon over here, maybe resize it a little bit uh, so we can have more elements over here and make this really fun. My cat is not happy right now. Okay. Well, this is how you do it. You can even save this as a master file, exchange the picture to use it for several people. For example, if you want to use this with your customers, you can use it with your family and friends and you can see it's very easy and you can use it for a lot of purposes, for birthdays, for Christmas, for childbirths, for all of these kind of purposes. Have fun with that. This was the tutorial for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my tutorials, maybe subscribe to my channel. I do two tutorials per week. If you want to support me even more, head over to Patreon where you get my files with all the layers. You get feedback on your own creations and a lot of other great benefits. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.